What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to swap or change characters in the game. So you're playing as a character and you press a button and then you change to another character that is in the scene. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we are going to do is go into a third person blueprints. Okay, so now what we have to do is go into the... Um, third person character okay and um, what's going to do is just change the color of the mannequin um, depending if we are one or another one okay so you know for example um, I can just create a variable here which is gonna be um, player one okay it's gonna be a boolean so now I can go into the construction um, script and this will just update also not in real and runtime but also like in the editor and basically I'm just gonna drag this and say get okay um, also i'm gonna get the player one variable and make it a uh, public so i can access it later then just drag this make a branch and if this is uh false so if it's the other player i'm just gonna change the uh mesh so set material and then just put it in here um, it's gonna be the number two uh, because i want to change the second material on here um which actually I would say is is one, uh, yeah, it's actually one because it's from zero to one, yeah. And then on here um, I have a mannequin material, so it is a queen. Um, so I have created before, and it's just queen three, okay. So it looks a bit different, okay. All right. So now an important thing is that right now when we press, you know, play, we basically uh, spawn the character into. Um, well, the player spawn that we have on our scene or, or what the camera is, right? Because of the game mode, okay? Uh, right now, I'm just picking up this color uh, because basically it's not true. But if I were to put this uh, true, you will see that now I would be the normal uh, meta human. So, you know, now it's working. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it uh, by default on true. And then what we're going to do is just uh, go into the world settings and basically in game mode, selected game mode. What we're going to do is in default uh, def uh, default pound class, sorry, uh, instead of selecting the third person character, what we're going to do is click none. So it will not spawn a character right now. So what we're going to do now is just get our third person character, drag it into the scene. Okay, here we go. So this will be, for example, player one. So I can go into details and then uh, you will see that I have here the variable um, that I created, which is player one. So yeah, this will be player one. And there's a thing to basically uh, be able to control it. If you scroll a bit down, you'll see pound. And then we have an auto possess player. Instead of disabled, this is going to be player zero. Okay. So now what we can do is just uh, duplicate this character in the scene. And uh, when it loads, I will be able to, you know, uh, position it uh, whenever I want. So I can just drag it. Uh, let's see if it loads. Because it's a bit slow my computer because I'm recording and stuff. I can just rotate it so. It, we can later see how uh, you know it would look and then what i can do is just in this one um in the variables i can just set uh, player one to false so we'll change to green and also i'm just gonna put the auto process player back to disabled okay let me go ahead and press play uh you will see that we are the the player one which is this one okay so now we want to switch between this one and that one so for that, we need to open the level blueprint because we need some references into uh, the both characters. So we're gonna go in here and then you're gonna say open level blueprint. And this will basically open up a level blueprint, okay? I have, you know, some things here from another tutorial, but it doesn't really matter. Um, it, it won't affect us at all. All right, so just, it will be pretty much like this with a, maybe a big gameplay or whatever. We don't need anything, so you can just go into an empty space. All right, so now that we have just a blank space, um, we are gonna reference our two players. So we can just go into the third person map and we'll let's start with the first player. So you select the first player, then just hopping back into the third person map uh, blueprint level. Just right click and we have a button to create a reference to that character. So we're going to click it, let's go back in the third person map and do the same with the other one. So you select this one, go back into the level blueprint, right click and create a reference. Great. So now we have two references. So now let's go ahead and when we press a key, we'll basically switch between them. So to do it properly, I'm just gonna go into edit, play settings. And the difference is that um, if we do, uh, you know, the setup, the input from the play settings, we have so much more control. We can assign different like keys for that um, a specific one. We can also say it to be the gamepad, etc. Okay, so we can just go into input here. In action, just uh, add a new action mapping. 
we go open it and now let's call this switch um, player how are we gonna call it now uh, we can just press this keyboard key and then for example um, press tab okay and then when we you know press tab this will happen you can also set it up for the gamepad but anyway now we can close it and just say uh, switch player and this is the new input action so in press what we're going to do is a flip flop and basically the flip flop means that one time it will do a another time it will do b so because we'll be starting with the player one in the when we call the first time it will be to switch to player two so in the a is going to be to player two so we just want to get our third person character to drag it and then possess sorry and just uh first of all we need to uh, get the reference to get player controller and now we can um possess here we go possess so we can just put it into a it's here it's up here okay and now that's the target but the impound will be the two and then let's go ahead and copy this paste in here and in b it's gonna be instead of um of the two it's gonna be the first one okay so we can just put it on here all right so now we were to compile and save go back into our level if we press play i'm the first player you can see but if i press tab you can see that right now i'm the second player so now if i press tab again i go back into my first player and it's really cool you can make a whole game which uh, basically uses the logic that you have to change players to get uh, along levels or whatever so yeah guys if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful please i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials in my channel so if you want to check it out go ahead also you have any videos you want to see uh let me know and just leave a comment uh, down below so now, yes, with all that said, bye-bye.